Oh. I guess I should introduce myself. I definitely should introduce this video off. What's up, my boys? Welcome back to Ganganropa V3 Killing Harmony. So last time we finished the Chapter 5 trial, which was fucking insane. After finishing that trial and going through all these different chapters, I've begun to see a trend. And I think what I've learned from this game is that you don't want to trust, trust anyone, anyone whose name starts, starts with K. K. Remember Kaede in Chapter 1, she killed Rantaro and basically betrayed Shuichi's trust. In Chapter 2, Kurumi killed Ryoma and, I mean, she had a reason for it because she was the damn Prime Minister of Japan or whatever. She still killed somebody and she still prolonged the killing game, so... Yeah, you don't want to trust her either. Chapter 3, you, you definitely don't want to trust Kurekyo. That man is like the Japanese Ted Bundy. He was luring in women to kill so that his sister would have friends in the afterlife, which is fucking crazy. And also the fucking incest storyline with buddy. his sister too. It's, it's fucking gross, man. Now there's chapter four, which Gonta was the killer, but the reason he was the killer is because of Kokichi. I, I believe Kokichi was manipulating Gonta the entire time. So yeah, you can't really put all the blame on Gonta. And then chapter five, obviously, Kaito and Kokichi. I mean, obviously Kokichi, he betrays everyone because he always just fucks with everyone. And Kaito, I understand that he didn't do anything with bad intentions. There wasn't like any malice towards his killing, towards Kokichi, but you know, he kind of betrayed the trust of Shuichi and Maki. Especially Maki, man. Like, Maki completely broke down after she figured out that Kaito was the killer. And now here we are with chapter 6, and the only person whose name starts with K is Kibo. And uh, I'm wondering what's gonna happen with him. He started bombing the fucking school for some reason. I don't know what happened, like, as soon as that antenna fell off of his head, he started just acting out, and I don't know what's about to happen in this chapter, but all I know is that I can't trust this motherfucker because he might kill somebody, I don't know, or he might do something that will betray us, so, yeah, I'm kind of scared of that, but anyways, I, I've been rambling on for too long, let's just continue with the chapter. My name's Makoto, oh, Makoto Naegi? I don't have any talents or anything, I'm just a regular teenager. Hold on, we you going all the way back? Wait, what? Who the fuck is this? this boring looking person is me. That ain't the Makoto I know. See? Even the way I look is normal. What is this Ultra Despair Girls-esque music right now? Getting into an elite school like this was just the start of my bad luck. I okay. can't keep up with my classmates' conversations or the teacher's lectures. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. Is this Makoto's origin story? Is this a new Makoto? At home? My parents are constantly on my case. Honestly, I'm fed up. Oh. I want to run away from my daily life. I want to run away and just forget all this. Okay. I want to run away and run away and run away and run away and run away. But I'm okay. Oh, uh, no, you do not sound okay. That sounded a bit creepy there. He looks like Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. That's why I'm gonna be okay. Okay, good for you. Why is a phone? Thanks for the courage. Thanks for giving me something iPhone? to get totally obsessed with. Thanks for the strength to keep going. I'll keep on rooting for you. So please keep trying your best. What is going on? And who's he talking to? One day, I'll also. Okay. It felt like a happy moment, but I feel like the happy moments always seem creepy. Oh god. Yo! This is destroying my ears right now! What is going on? Fucking hell, Kibo. Uh, what, what happened? What did you say? The school building blew up! What happened? Uh -huh. Hey, over there! I turned my head to where Maki was pointing. It's Kibo. There he is. Oh my god, they went full on CG for this. It looks really good. Why is Kibo doing this? Why is he destroying the entire school? I get that he wants to end the killing game, but like... Why why are you doing this, man? Huh? K Kibo? <laughs> Kibo, what are you doing? Yeah. You're flying! Is it magic? Well, no. He's more like Iron Man right now. I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school indiscriminately. We need to hurry and stop him. We'll get caught up in this mess if we don't. But, but how do we stop him? All right. We have to talk to him. We can get him to come down. Hey. Anyone have an electro bomb? Actually, wait, there are only three of them, right? So, yeah, nobody has an electro bomb. It's dangerous, but let's go to the courtyard and try to get his attention. Oh my. Yeah, you're right. All right. 
I guess we'll head over to the courtyard. Wait, aren't we already in the courtyard? Confused by the situation unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. Okay. How are we gonna stop this man? It feels like he... He lost control after he, um... Lost that little thing on his head. He realized he's not the protagonist anymore. <laughs> are you kidding me? We just moved a few feet? He's not gonna notice us. Eek! It's like a battlefield. Damn it! We need to get his attention. Get him to calm down. Just write an SOS message on the ground or something. Kibo! Come here! Hey! Are you trying to get us killed? Kibo. Please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. I don't know if that's gonna work. I shouted out to Kibo, who finally came to a halt midair. And then slowly fl flew down to us. Kibo? Hey. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Y yeah. Oh god. What's up, Kibo? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. Like what? You're a fucking robot. What are we <laughs> What does he have to do? Yeah, he doesn't have that little thing on his head, that spiky hair on his head. Other matters? Yes. I'm going to end the killing game. Huh? End the killing game. Indeed. To do that, I must destroy the Ultimate Academy for gifted juveniles. What did you say? D destroy it? That's right. The killing game cannot go on if I destroy this school in its entirety. I mean, I guess that's true, but is that really going to do anything for us? Could it be? So that's why you have that weapon? Hey. What's with that weapon and the jetpack? Yeah. I obtained this equipment from my lab. Oh, nice. Huh? You had equipment like that in your lab? Of course he did. He just didn't want to use it. Yes. I made some modifications to drastically improve their power output and functionality. Wait. Since when have you been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? Did something happen? I guess his personality changed, because before he said he didn't want any sci-fi shit, and now he wants to go full-on sci-fi. Uh, um... Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? Right. I guess desperate times call for desperate measures. That's right, you don't look like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes, I wanted to be treated like a real human, a creature of flesh and blood like you all. Yeah, but you're not though. <laughs> you're a robot. I have decided. But I no longer have the luxury of clinging to that wish anymore. I... My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end this killing game. You can't! What does that mean for us though? Hold on, if you do something like that, we'll all die too, you know? Yeah, isn't there pollution in the outside world right now? How's this gonna work? Um... There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're only able to survive because we're inside the spaceship, you know? Oh god. Uh, that's right, are you trying to kill us too? Yes. If my actions result in your death, so be it. <sighs> what? So be it? Are you fucking kidding me, Kibo? That's... Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. Unfortunately. And unfortunately, he is right. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. Oh my god. Well, you you know we're gonna have another class trial if he kills us, right? No. Wait, we still have hope. Remember. Our hope is everyone here. Our friends who are still alive. Yeah, each other. You're right. Yeah, if we all work together, even this killing game will... 100%. It will not stop. It will never stop. Oh man, he got real serious. And even if we did manage to stop this killing game and escape, where would he go? Earth is destroyed. Humanity is ex is extinct. We have no home to return to. What? That might be true, but... Which means... Monokuma is right. Despair is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. Everyone! All we can do now is refuse to submit to despair. Yeah, so... We're gonna destroy the school, but we're still gonna be stuck here. So, where are you going with this, Kibo? And you'd be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that? Oh, he wants to kill us? Is that what he wants to do? Logical. That is a far better alternative than allowing Monokuma to continue the killing game. I don't what know. It that? seems like the easy way out. Are you serious? Listen closely. Kaito and Kokichi gave their lives to end this killing game. We, we should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end this killing game. What do you mean? Is that what your inner voice is telling you to do? Well, he doesn't have one anymore, right? No. No, I can no longer hear that voice. Huh? You can't hear it anymore? That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This decision is my will, my choice. I have decided. I've chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. Okay, so apparently someone was controlling him with that little antenna, I think. I think that's what's going on. We can never submit to despair, because we are the students of Hope's Peak Academy. 
No. No, that's wrong. Why? Wrong. Shuichi doing a Makoto impression right now. Because there might still be hope. There might still be a place call to call home. Well then. I wonder you basing that claim on. That's wrong. Nothing. <laughs> but I just have a feeling. Yep. You. That's Shuichi talking, not the detective. Just a feeling? You sound like that idiot right now. Aw. It's always wholesome whenever Maki smiles. Kaito said so. It's just like Kokichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. Yeah, there has to be somebody in the outside world then. There can be no killing game without an audience. Um, Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. I wonder who is actually watching that shit. There's some crazy motherfuckers out there watching high school students kill each other. Oh wait, wouldn't that be us? Oh man, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that out loud. This game must be the same way. Someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> there's still a possibility. True, we cannot say there's absolutely no possibility, but even a mere possibility. No, that's wrong. That possibility is our hope. Ooh, okay. New World Order. I love this song. Huh? What? Because we haven't investigated everything. There's still a lot of mysteries in the school. Yeah, exactly. If there's still questions to answer, then we haven't found the truth. Um, and that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we reach the truth. I see. Spoken like a true ultimate detective. Exactly. I'm the leader here. I understand. Very well. I shall cooperate with your attempt to stop this killing game your way. Thank you. Kibo. Listen closely. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer than that. Oh god. What does that mean in Danganronpa time? Until dawn? Oh, until dawn? Like the actual game until dawn? Though dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome. If you cannot stop the killing game by dawn, 100%. I will destroy the ultimate academy and end the killing game myself. Oh. Poo hoo hoo. You're gonna end what now? Yeah, here he is. He's probably gonna talk shit to us. Oh yeah, the exosols. I forgot. It's impossible to end the killing game! Yeah, and the model cubs are back too. Yep, there they are. Because the killing game is forever eternal! Yo, can Kibo not kill these exosols? Because he does have weapons now. Why you? He's back! Unbelievable. Attempting to destroy this precious academy is more than a violation of school regulations. Oh, is that what's got to go on here? Is Kibo going to get killed for violating the rules? It's an act of mutiny. That's enough. So what? You are sorely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Hmm. Huh? Is the robot malfunctioning? He must be. Why else would he try to defy me? Let's do this! Oh god. <laughs> I hate hearing their voices. And let's kill him until he dies from it. Hell yeah! Leave it to me! Ripping a robot apart isn't gory at all, so I can go all out this time. And that's that. Oh my god, I forgot how loud Minosuke was. Pops, can we kill him? Can we kill him, please? <laughs> Poo hoo hoo, they're so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs. Huh? Well, any last words? <laughs> Eek, they're all in battle mode. Everyone. This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Oh man, Kibo's about to have a showdown with Monokuma. Kibo. Kibo, are you okay? Yeah. Shuichi, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stall them. Well, it's all in your hands now. Now go! Okay. Oh my god, I'm worried for Kibo. I feel like he might die. Alright! Fuck, what do we do? Never forgive rule breakers! Anyone who messes with the killing game must die! Exosols, assemble! Oh my god. No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. Yo, this is a badass shot of Kibo. I, I got a screenshot of this. In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself, I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and bring down this monument to despair. Okay. Oh, damn. All right. Kibo just went full on Iron Man. <laughs> I am Kibo. That's how it began in the war between Kibo and the Exosols. The Ultimate Academy became a battlefield. Oh, jeez. What are we supposed to find? You guys might destroy the shit that we gotta find. Goodbye, Danganronpa. Oh, my god. Is this the end? The end of an era? The end of Danganronpa? That's what I'm gonna call the last episode of this series. We ran to the entrance hall trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. Oh, man. Well, we're inside of the building, but we aren't gonna be safe here for long. Things have suddenly become really bad. 
So the robot uprising finally happened. It's what I always feared, but... <laughs> oh my god. Imagine the shit in real life. Why you? I I never expected it to it'd be like this. Why? But why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that in the reach in the research lab? He's pretty careless, isn't he? Yeah, I wonder why. Uh oh. This building's falling apart. Eek! I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Right? Hey, what should we do? Remember. Just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end this killing game. What's that mean? Okay, but what do we need to look for? <sighs> Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. What? The mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Because... I'm sure there is. If the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in this school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, then in that case... I don't know. But I thought the only ones saved by the Gopher Project were us 16 students. Nope. Do you think it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? Yeah, that's what Junko did, right? Junko and Muguro? And that's the first right. Danganronpa? Yeah, someone could be the mastermind hiding somewhere in this school, yeah. Um. Someone? You mean a remnant of despair, right? I guess so. Then someone else in this academy besides Kokichi is a remnant of despair? Oh my god, they really were tag-teaming like Junko and Mukuro. <laughs> That's true. Although, actually, I don't think Kokichi was tag-teaming with anyone, though. If we can find them and kill them, then this killing game should end. Uh, um... Ah, I don't know about killing them. But... But there is the possibility that the Mastermind is hiding somewhere in this academy. This complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. Yeah, I'm immediately thinking of Rantaro's lab. That's right. It seems like it's worth a shot. But... And that's not the only thing we have to find. To truly end this killing game, we must find this mastermind of despair. That's... And also find hope. Yeah, what is our hope? Huh? Hope? Remember. Our home. Where we're going to live after this killing game ends. I know there is hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. Oh, this isn't some fictional story, so I don't think things will work out that well. Hey. But it is a fictional story. But if we look for it, we might just find it. If we don't try it, we'll never find anything. Okay. So we have to try. That's true. Since Kibo is distracting the Exosols, we won't have to worry about violating school rules. So yeah, let's fucking break down some doors! Okay. There must be other rooms that we haven't investigated yet. Oh, right! You're right, there's no point complaining. Let's all just do what we can. Mm. Well, if we all work together, everything will be alright, right? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. Oh, uh, look at Maki's smile. I have to point that out whenever Maki smiles. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. Maki. Okay. Yes, that's right. Aww. All right. We need to find the hope and despair hidden in this academy. When all is revealed, this killing game will end. <laughs> Investigation start. Oh wow. No daily life or anything. I mean, I mean, I guess that's typical for chapter six. Then let's split up and start searching. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna split up. But we're in such a united mood. Well, we don't have enough time left to all go together, unfortunately. You're right. Right, we'll see each other soon. What do we even search for other than Rentaro's right. lab? Alright, I should go too. We need to end this killing game before dawn. Ah! Yeah. Oh god. What happened? What's going on? Whoa. Oh! Secret tunnel? Secret tunnel! What? A hole? Damn. Now it is time to test your bonds with your friends. The time to dawn and your bond with your friends will be displayed. Wait, what? If your bond increases, you can move large debris. So work hard to end this killing game before dawn breaks. Oh, we're timed? What the fuck do we do? There's a staircase? Why is there a staircase here? Was the staircase supposed to be unlocked by a mysterious item? Hmm. There must be clues here. I, I have to investigate. Okay. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize there was a fucking timer. Oh, man. What is this shit? Um... Whack that shit? Oh, okay. So you gotta whack the debris. I'm assuming we're gonna have to use this for other parts of the school. This reminds me of the tunnels in Full Metal Alchemist, the one that Pride would always use. It's broken, but from this door. Hmm. This must be an ultimate lab. Ooh! It isn't open, but there's only one ultimate lab left. Okay. It's Kokichi's, the ultimate supreme leader's lab. Oh, of course it would be underground. This door isn't supposed to open. Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is open, then that lab will remain closed. 
Yeah, by your rules. But Kibo's explosives broke the door. I should be able to get inside. I have to go inside. Oh, what are we gonna find in here? We don't really know much about Kokichi. Sheesh, dice? That's supposed to be like EA dice? So this is Kokichi's lab. It certainly does have that evil organization feel. Yeah, what the fuck? This dude is Batman! But there's nothing that would identify the remnants of despair. Of course there isn't. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Alright. Hope? Despair? Oh, maybe... At that time, Kaito was in the Exosol. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, maybe Kokichi got his memories wiped, but... Obviously, that wasn't actually Kokichi. But it didn't seem like he knew anything about the remnants of despair. Kokichi and Kaito weren't there when we used the flashback light. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But even without that memory, the truth is the same. If this lab was made for Kokichi, there should be some link to the remnants. Hmm. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. Okay, fuck that timer. That timer is gonna make me feel anxious. I usually take my time with the investigations. They're matching shoes and suits of many colors here. If this is the Ultimate Supreme Leader's lab, are these uniforms for the other members of the organization? There are some unsettling objects here. Gas masks, handcuffs... There are also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine, but they seem comical. They got the Clark Kent glasses. This doesn't seem like something the Remnants of Despair would use. Who knows, they could be pulling a Clark Kent. You never know. They're living among us. <laughs> Get it? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. A supercar. Is this the kind of thing that members of this evil organization drive around? But would an evil organization really want to drive around in such flashy cars? Hmm. This is more like a child's idea of what an evil organization would have. Yeah, this is literally a bat cave. Is, is Alfred in here? Alfred? What about the chair over here? Central chair. Looks sick. Oh! This is Kokichi's chair. Definitely something a supreme leader would sit in. But something feels off. It's all too cliche. Yeah. Feels as if this entire room is just an elaborate prank. Yeah, I, I have a feeling this might not actually be his lab. Or maybe that's the whole point of this. You're not supposed to know about Kokichi's lab because he lies about everything. This must be the emblem or the organization that Kokichi leads. But do the remnants of despair put up emblems? I don't know. What else is in this room? Oh, helicopter. A toy helicopter? Is this Kokichi's? Okay, what else is there in this room? Oh, book! I barely saw that, what the hell? There's a collection of files here, bound like a book. Huh? The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy? I picked up the book and began rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside... Oh, oh! Information on Hope's Peak Academy, Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair. Yo! This is a history of the battle between hope and despair. But we already remembered all this. We know this information. I don't suppose it'd make for a particularly useful clue. I don't suppose. Hmm. No, something's not right. Something is off because the thing is written in this book. Yeah. Do you really have time to read a book? I don't think it's just any book, Maki. Ah, Maki! I flinched in surprise as Maki peeked at the thick book in my hands. Heh. <laughs> Thick. This book be thicker than Maki. The complete history of Hope's Peak Academy? What's the point of reading this now? You already remembered Hope's Peak Academy with a flashback light, didn't you? Yeah, but there might be some things that we don't know. No. Yes, I thought that as well. Hey. Ah, Maki, this is perfect timing. Will you come with me? Huh? For what? Is that all right? I need you to tell me everything you remember about the history of Hope's Peak Academy. Why? Huh? But why? That's. I need to check something important. Yeah, we, we gotta, like, correlate our information that we know. I don't really understand, but I just need to talk about it, right? She gave me a big, almost theatrical sigh, then started speaking in bored narration. Oh god. It all began at Hope's Peak Academy. Uh-huh. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Yep, we know that. The world was plunged into ruin and humanity into the depths of despair. This tragic event was caused by a lone high school girl. And Mukuro. It was Junko, Mukuro, and Hajime, technically. I forgot what his, like, real name was after they fused Hajime and all those, like, ultimate talents and shit. 
the ultimate despair, Junko and Oshima. Uh -huh. In order to fulfill her plans to plunge humanity and the world into utter despair, she organized the killing game of Hope's Peak Academy's 78th class. Yep. Trapped oh the man, the memories. Despair, the 78th class. Do I see anything wrong with these images? They all look right to me. You guys know it's actually been almost two years since I played Trick or Happy Havoc on the channel. It's kind of crazy, man. It's kind of crazy how long we've been playing Danganronpa. Was forced to participate in the killing game. Ah, uh, looking back on this, it's kind of nostalgic now. But in the end, Junko and Oshima died at the hands of the very killing game she masterminded. Uh huh. With her death, the despair outbreaks ended. And the world slowly began to recover. Did it really, though? Because we had Ultra Despair Girls and shit. But the remnants of despair yeah. continued to carry out Junko's legacy of despair. The future foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on. Uh, spoilers from Danganronpa 3, uh, most of the Future Foundation members actually died. And I think the only people that were left were Makoto and everyone from the 78th class, so... Until one day. Yeah. When the war suddenly ended. Oh, why did it end? Oh, because of the meteors. Right? You can skip that part. Okay. Is that alright? Do you remember anything about the new Hope Speak Academy? <sighs> As for Hope Speak Academy... Yeah, this new it was school. later rebuilt by former members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. Mm-hmm. And we were part of that school, allegedly. This doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense, because what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Oh, they are manipulating our memories! They're giving us all the exact same memory. Then what is written in the book? Are these just lies? Or are they... Ugh! I turned to one of the pages almost without thinking. What's wrong? No. Ah, uh, it's just the afterword written on the last page. Hmm. It's written. It says that these documents were collected by several esteemed researchers. This is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. Hmm. Well, it says it's the complete history, so what's the problem? The problem is, if this is true... I don't know, people are rewriting history. History of Hope's Peak. Oh, they're not going to reveal it right now. We can't ignore these inconsistencies. I should investigate more. In order to investigate this, I need to know more about Kokichi. I found this in his lab, after all. Very good question. Hey, Maki, I think I'm going to go to Kokichi's room now. Oh, we never went to his room. Why Kokichi's room? I'm... I have to verify something. I have to determine which things he said were the truth and which were lies. Okay. Including if he was really a remnant of despair. Yeah. What are you trying to pull? Huh? There's no doubt that he was a remnant of despair because in that memory. Yeah, I don't know about those memories. Okay, okay. Well, whatever. If that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Thank you. Thank you. Never would have imagined this. That Kokichi's lie might be the breakthrough we need to find the truth. I think I feel like that's the whole theme. Oh. What is going on? Hello? What is this? What's happening? What the hell is going on? Oh shit. Flashback light. I think it's because we learn more information. Is that what's going on? Oh shit. What is going on here? Oh, it's that kid! Hey, what's going on? Hello. Are you one of the chosen for the Gopher Project? Gopher Project? I saw you on a flyer on the ground. That's the Remnants of Despair's doing. Gopher Project participants are classified. Are you one of them? I'm really good at remembering faces. Oh, this kid knows. Okay. Yeah, I get that a lot. Just a case of mistaken identity, I'm afraid. They're all students from Hope's Peak Academy, aren't they? I'm just a normal high school student. I don't have any special talent. Yeah, so we were just pretending. I see. But you look just like him. So? <laughs> this, this is like when fans meet up with their celebrity and like start talking to them. But like the celebrity doesn't want to interact with any of their fans. Don't worry about that. 
Hey, listen, should you really be outside right now? The meteor. Yeah, how are y'all still alive right I'm now? I'm not scared of them. Because what? my dad told me the future foundation will take care of those meteorites. What, are they going to shoot down the meteorites? How are they going to take them out? If the gopher project succeeds, then the meteorites won't fall down. No, I've heard the gopher project doesn't exist to save us. Yeah, oh, is this kid playing Shuichi right now? Have you heard the rumor? All the participants died in an accident. Well, yeah. You're wrong. They didn't die. How would you know that? Because... Those people are the heroes that will save the world, right? Oh. The Gopher Project wasn't created to save us. Never mind. Heroes don't yeah, die. Yeah, you can't explain too heroes much. Heroes don't give up. That's why they're still alive. Because they're heroes. Oh, he has a very childish mindset, because obviously he's a kid. But I feel like that might play a factor in this last trial. Heroes? I'm trying to think about what's going on here. That was a memory, right? No. It's from that flashback light. Yep. There it is. I wonder if there's gonna be more flashes. Oh, <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. Is this Shuichi just now? Uh, okay. That must have been the flashback light, the one that Monokuma used after Kaito's trial. Huh? After Kaito's trial? Hey. Hey, what did you remember? Uh, um, that memory was from when I tried to get away from the Gopher Project and threw away my talent. Oh yeah. I remembered the same thing. Oh, but why? Why did Monokuma give us that memory? And will we experience another flashback like the one we just saw? I don't know, but I can't hesitate now. Hey, Maki, let's focus on the investigation. There are a lot of things we need to check. Okay. Well, you're heading to Kokichi's room, right? Then I'll go with you. Huh? Huh? You will? Because... Something about him concerns me. That's why I want to check. Okay. She looks worried. Did that flashback... Do you want to die? What? Do you want to die? Oh, alright, chill out. Uh, um... uh, no, nothing. Let's go. Even so. A hero, huh? Friendship power-up. Oh! I'm assuming that just means it unlocks new areas. Can we go over here? Oh, we need three people over there. Okay. So, okay, so we only need one to go out there. Uh, oh, hi there. Get out. Get out! <laughs> I don't know if he actually chased me. He probably doesn't. Uh, let's just run fast. Run fast. Just go. <laughs> uh, Kokichi's room. Up here. It's just unlocked? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is in here? What the fuck? So this is Kokichi's room. Oh my god, the first thing I saw on the whiteboard, annoying, and it's just the model cubs. <laughs> I feel you, Kokichi. I feel you. I don't know where he got all this stuff, but he hoarded a lot of things. I saw Rantaro hanging over there. I wonder what that was all about. It's unsettling, but we should investigate it. You're right. Right. Okay. By investigating this room, we might learn more about Kokichi. Kokichi said that he was the leader of an organization opposed to the Gopher Project. In that effort, he tried to take the position of the Mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that that organization was the Remnants of Despair. Kokichi was the leader of the Remnants of Despair. But is that the real truth? I feel as though there may be a lie in there. Yeah, definitely. Collected evidence? There's a lot of collected evidence. What the fuck? Ah, this is the hidden camera I set up in the library. Oh no, is this all mementos? And this is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. It is! And this is the book from the cage child seance! That punk. He was gathering all the evidence from the past incidents? The murder weapons aren't here, but why on earth was he gathering all this? <sighs> no, it's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. Okay, I'm assuming all that collected evidence is just the same shit. So, the cubs pad. Remember that as it's one of the motives. Hmm. It's a mono cubs pad. They were given all to us as motives during Kurumi's case. But the motive videos were switched up and we each caught someone else's video. That's true. I don't believe this motive video is Kokichi's. Oh, is it like Rantaro's or some shit? Also, why is there a horse mask on the fucking bed? What is this shit? There's no point in looking, is there? No. No, we should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions. When I touched my finger to the pad, the video started playing. Whose is it? Oh, it's Kokichi's. Right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive! I wonder if he watched it. Who's the 
most important person in your life. And now, without further ado... Imagine if it's like Ryoma's where it's like, oh yeah, there, there's no one important in your life. What? Kokichi's... Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. What the fuck is this shit? He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. Okay. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Oh, really? Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. Is that all Kokichi did? He just committed petty crime? These Definitely goons seems like it. were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. But then, oh. a terrible event befell those precious people. What happened to them? What kind of event? Oh. It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it's a motive video. He's not gonna share everything. So this was Kokichi's motive video? Why? Why did he have his own motive video? Did he exchange it with someone else? No. Or maybe he was given his own motive video from the start. Yeah, I feel like the mastermind would control that shit. Like Kurumi. I see. Oh, so Kurumi wasn't the only one who got their own motive video. Yeah. Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. It's true, but the content of that motive video is disconcerting. It's inconsistent with the information we already know about Kokichi. But what can I deduce from that? I don't know, I guess we're gonna do it in the trial. I don't really know what's going on. I never thought that a motive video would be a concern now. Kokichi gathering all those pieces of evidence was a coincidence. Right? Was it? I don't know about that. Oh, I can't check the whiteboard? Alright, whatever. Lots of documents. There are several cardboard boxes filled with documents. These look like blueprints. Huh? Blueprints. This is stupid. Is that a lightsaber? What the fuck? They're mostly drawings of childish fantasy weapons like ray guns and beam swords. Well... I wonder if the electro hammer and electro bomb blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever came to mind and then selected a few from you to create. Okay, I think we're learning more about Kokichi and how he's kind of like a child. <laughs> Looking at everything, a lot of these childish designs seem impossible to create. That's that might be Kokichi's intention. Huh? His intention? Remember. He could have prepared a few flake flake? What? A few fake blueprints to mask the real ones. It's nearly impossible to check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. Mm. You mean there might be something important hidden among the stuff? You're right. Could be. I believe that is a possibility, but we don't have time to look. Then and I'll do it. Oh. Huh? huh? Maki took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. Uh um... Maki. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Aww. We're such good friends now. We're so close after we lost our friend Kaito. Should investigate more closely. What the fuck do I investigate here? Do I have to click on every single thing on this desk? That'd be really annoying. Oh, maybe just talk to Maki? Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Huh? Hmm? What is it, Maki? Well... Kaito believed Kokichi. He believed that someone's watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I, I think so, too. Kokichi does have a compelling point. This killing game only makes sense if there's an audience. Why else would there be all these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because It's just like Junko and Oshima's killing game from the past. Hmm. Monokuma is particularly strict about upholding the rules and enlivening up the killing game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left of humanity, aren't we? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all! I don't understand. Even if he did say it was to show someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. That is a mystery. Yeah, something's going on here. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There's still a truth to find in this killing game. Whether that truth is hope or despair is another matter entirely. Alright. Should be everything. Killing game. Alright. We can use that against Monokuma in the trial. That covers just about everything in Kokichi's room. Where else do we go? Hey. If you're done, you can leave. I'm going to check the blueprints. But... But... Because... We rely on you the most, especially in this situation. After all, you're Kaito's sidekick. Yeah. Maki. I I'm her boyfriend's friend. Well... But before you go, I found something strange that I want you to look at. Oh, what is that? Something strange? Uh, this isn't a will. What? What is this? Is this a real will? Is this... I think it's a real will, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar after all. But if it is real, why did he leave it? Could it be? He left us this information in case his plan failed. Huh? 
He did? I don't think he would do something like that. Well, well we should look inside, then we'll know more. Okay. When I opened the envelope, small pieces of paper fell out. Huh? The second message is on the wall next to the boiler in the near garden. In the rear garden. Hmm? A second message? The wall next to the boiler. That's all? It's probably another one of his horrible pranks. I don't know, man. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I should investigate just in case. It might be an important clue. Okay, okay. Do what you want. Just don't waste any time. It'll be dawn before you know it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, I should head to the boiler in the garden. Alright. Off to the boiler room! Actually, wait, I'm alone again, because I don't have Maki with me. Man. Is this the place? Wait, hold on. I don't know if this is the place. The wall next to the boiler. Oh, wait, never mind. It is. What could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank. It's just a prank, bro. Oh, there it is. What is that? Uh, um... Around here? This area used to be covered in grass. Yeah. But it's been completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to find now. Uh. Ah! I let out a gas when I saw it. What does it say? Uh-oh, another message. Huh? Twins be. Is this a second message? What could this possibly mean? If it was written by Kokichi, like the other message. Are they meant to be read together? Then... In that case, it seems as though this message is incomplete. Two mysterious messages. Okay. That's very interesting. But if this is incomplete, what was Kokichi trying to do by telling us... Uh-oh. Flashback! What? Uh, again? I wonder what the purpose of these flashbacks is. Maybe Monokuma is trying to fuck with us. I wouldn't be surprised. I remember everything now! Oh! Shuichi Saihara. Oh my god, this is like that shot when, um, the Hope Speak headmaster was talking to all the students in the 78th class. Oh man, nice throwback. You have your ultimate memory back? Yes. Yes. Okay. As the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, I want to ask you to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. I... I... I do feel bad about this. You know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being ultimates. Those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go th through with this project are you 16 who haven't been infected. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. The fate of humanity? What is going on? I wonder if this is going to be similar to how Danganronpa 1 ended. I hope that's not the case. Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, what's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? Oh man, Shuichi sounded more and more nihilistic. I don't understand. I don't blame him though. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. Huh? It's true that this situation you're all being forced to forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better to just die. But I still want you to all live. For those of us who want to live but can't, you 16 who can live are hope itself. So please, I don't want to see you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. This feels so weird. Yeah, it is Makoto. Oh man. All this throwback. Ah, oh, my head. I remembered something again. That's it. We were at Hope Speak Academy and we all participated in the Gopher project. At that moment, I heard something crumbling above me. New area! Please? Wait, isn't there... Isn't there like an underground tunnel here? Where would that lead to? Okay. Is the manhole blocked up now? What's going on, man? Alright. Oh, Kibo's uh. over here. What's up, Kibo? I thought you were fighting you the right? robots. Shuichi, what's wrong? Are you alright? <laughs> Kibo. Yeah, the whole building just fell on top of me. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I experienced a sudden flashback in my hand slip. Then... Ah, oh, did you remember too, Kibo? Yeah. Yes, we were at Hope Speak Academy about to sign on for the Gopher Project. But... What is Monokuma thinking, having us remember that now? As I thought. He's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but these memories... Ooh... 
What is going on? Oh, I'm assuming we just have to go inside the manhole. Or maybe I have to talk to Kibo? I don't think Kibo has anything to say. Are you alright? How's your investigation going? Will you be able to end the killing game your way? Uh, uh, it's going fine. I really just started. There are a lot of areas in this academy we haven't investigated. Hmm. Areas you can't investigate. Hmm. Rantaro's lab is also inaccessible thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rule. Yeah. Okay. That's right. I'm concerned about that too. If only there was some way to get in. Um, I will help you. Huh? Help me. Logical. By destroying the door to his research lab so you can enter it. Well, hey. That's... If you could, that would really help. Please. Then please, head to his lab and I will meet you there. I'm worried. But be careful. Yeah, I'll be careful. I'll be fine. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. The Exosols may not kill you outright, but they will definitely try to stop you. Uh, okay. Right. Listen closely. Things get dangerous, call me and I will deal with the Exosols. Huh? You're going to help me, Kibo? Yeah. I'm not your enemy. That is why I'm helping you with your investigation. Yeah, he's never been our enemy. I hope that's not the case by the end of this game, though. He better not be my enemy. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. Yeah, of course. Later, Kibo. Only until the time limit, huh? I suppose he's still hellbent on destroying this academy. Hmm. Still, you changed, Kibo. Is it because of this situation, or because he can't hear his inner voice? Great question. Right, now I should focus on Rantaro. He died before revealing his ultimate talent, but he seemed to know more than we did. Yeah. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but holy shit, it's been so long since we've seen these two. Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Before he even remembered that event, he knew about the ultimate hunt. But why? There might be a clue somewhere that will lead us to the mastermind. All right. I'm going to do everything I can, no giving up! I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. And to do that, I need to get inside Rantaro's lab. Congratulations, you unlocked the Kibo gun. Oh my god, what is this shit? Hold left click near an Exizel to fill up energy. When the energy is filled to the max, Kibo will come to save you. Oh, use it as you need it. What is this Ultra Despair Girl shit? Oh, the X is all over here. I remember this one. Sorry for interrupting, but there's some info you gotta know. Hold left click when you're in X is all to ask Kibo for help. That's it. There's no trick to it or anything. Okay. Got him! Distract him, Kibo! Thanks! I don't know how that worked, but we ain't gonna question it. <laughs> I wonder where Himiko and Samugi are at. Uh, we need four, so we need everybody for that one. Oh, I just need myself for this one, though. Man, this is so linear right now. <laughs> Typically, there would be um, non-linear investigations, but usually with Chapter 6, they really want you to do it in a very specific way. There you are. Get his ass, Kibo! Fuck, why is he so loud, man? Minosuke is always the loudest person in this game. What the fuck? Antaro's lab. Kibo breaks down this door. Let's do it, Kibo. Shoot it down! Bomb the school, Kibo! There he is. Dude, Kibo's fucking badass, man. He should have equipped this shit earlier. Shuichi. Thank you for waiting! <laughs> That was one hell of an entrance. Yeah, it was. Listen closely. I will destroy this door at once. Please stand back, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Let's do it. What's behind this lab? Sheesh! Uh. Oh my god, poor Shuichi got covered with dust there. <laughs> please. Well then, I leave the rest to you. If there's anywhere else you would like to access but can't, please call me. I will blast open an entrance just like I did for you now. Alright. Thanks, Kibo. Anywhere I'd like to access. I can't go anywhere with Kibo's help. Does that mean I can get in there too? No. Ooh. What, what does he want to get? Oh, is it the, the Monokuma room in the basement? No, Rantaro's case first. I need to investigate his lab. I'm finally in. So this is Rantaro's lab. But what kind of room is this? It's almost frightening. Yeah, what the fuck mm. is this? What was his talent? I thought I'd understand once I came here. Oh, Himiko's over here. I don't know. I don't get it at all. Himiko! Hey, Shuichi! Isn't that explosion, the sound of you breaking down this lab's door? That's pretty drastic. Wait, was Himiko already in here? She had to have come in here after me, right? No. Ah, uh, that wasn't me, it was Kibo. Mm -hmm. But what even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. Okay. It looks like some kind of puzzle room. Oh. Then... 
So maybe he was the ultimate quiz king and he got that title by winning game shows? I was going to say ultimate escape room artist. <laughs> I'm not sure. We should investigate first. That's fine. Then I shall help you. <laughs> Be happy. The legendary mage is your sidekick. The sidekick to my sidekick. <laughs> ah, yeah. That makes me feel better. All right. What's in this room? I see a laptop right there. Giant vault. That kind of looks like boobs there. <laughs> so, laptop. Let's check this first. A laptop? Oh, this looks promising. My magic's telling me this is important. You're right. There might be a clue in here. I should check. Looks like it still it still works. I should see what's on here. Hmm. hmm? What's the matter? What's the matter? Uh, um... It's empty. What does uh. that mean? Empty. What do you mean? No. There's no data in it at all. Oh, why? What? Why put a laptop here if it doesn't have even have anything interesting on it? No porn on it either? What's the point, man? It seems like that's the case. But. No, but my magic reacted to something. What? There's gotta be something. Check it better. Check it better. Anyway, what was that about magic? Okay, we probably have to unlock something right here. A giant vault. Is this a vault? But it doesn't look like a normal vault. There's a clue somewhere in this academy. This vault's door is like a puzzle. Look at the two dials. Okay. The dial on the right is labeled A and it has a bunch of Chinese zodiac animals on it. And the one on the left is labeled B and it has a bunch of different astrological signs on it. Oh. I have to combine the two? So it looks like if we move both of the dials to the right things, the vault would open. Um. Is that something about a hint somewhere in the academy? Yeah. Yeah? Was well, there really a hint? What is the hint? This maybe. It'll be okay. Maybe you would have to do the ultimate astronaut? Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. How about that? So if there's 12 Chinese zodiac animals and 12 astrological signs, then it's just 12 times 12. Uh, That's um, 144. Too many to try all the combinations at random. Yeah. What's that? Then do you know the answer? Because I don't get it at all. Hey. Wait a minute, let me think. There's an A and a B dial. One with Chinese zodiac and the other with astrological symbols. And hit somewhere in this academy. I'm sure I can solve this. Hey, Shuichi. Shuichi, I know I yelled at you just now, but talk to me when you're stuck. With my magic. That should help when I when you have an epiphany. I am a legendary mage after all. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. There's no time. I have to try. I should inspect these dials. If I can't figure it out, I can ask Himiko. Oh, is this like the the escape room in Danganronpa 2? There's a clue somewhere in this academy. Do I just talk to Himiko right now? Hmm, a hint somewhere in the academy. wonder if it's like a diagram or some letters. It'd be a problem if it was some big object. I almost got it figured out. Do I just not have enough mana? I feel as though I'm right on the cusp of discovering something. Perhaps if I keep talking to Himiko, something will come up. Just keep talking to Himiko? A dial labeled A with 12 Chinese zodiac signs, and a dial labeled B with 12 astrological signs. So I need to think about A, B, the Chinese zodiac, and astrological signs. There are, those are the clues opening to opening this vault. Yeah, I feel like there was something, but okay. I get that, but what, what do we search around here? Yeah, a clue somewhere in this academy, but I just can't think of any. Don't tell me. Maybe it was hidden really well? No. No, it must be a hint of some kind. There would be no point if no one saw it. Could it be some psychological blind spot? Mm. A psychological blind spot, huh? That's a magical concept. Huh? A magical concept? Hmm, there's a technique mages use when casting spells. Okay. For example, when we cast big spells, we add a bunch of flashy over-the-top stuff. How about that? Yeah, the audience focus on all that stuff to hide the source of our magic. Is she just talking about magic tricks like sleight of hand and shit? The source of magic, like the method behind it? <laughs> of course, my magic is very advanced, you know. Even if the source of magic for my spells was leaked, not just anyone could copy them. I, I usually don't need to hide it. But it's better safe than sorry. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Anyway, maybe the clue was hidden from us like that? 
We probably already saw it, but we don't know it's a clue yet. Hmm. Something we already saw. Ah! That's it. Himiko's right. What is that? Oh! This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Kokichi's message. Horsey! When Gonsas first saw the message, it read Horse A. Oh! Horse A? Twins B? Is that what it is? But maybe Kokichi adding to that message... ...was just a diversion? Oh, I see! Think about it that way, the other message is... ...Twins B. Ah, I see! That sneaky little fucker. Those two messages are blues. He's clever, man. He's very clever. Alright, so... It's twins. 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 Okay. So then... There's some chorus to that. I'm glad it wasn't like a... Like, an escape room or some shit like that. Because that shit was really annoying in Danganronpa 2. Aha! All right. Yes, it opened! It's the Monokuma key! I don't know how, but it opened. But what did all this mean? Is that all right? The hint in this academy is the message that Kokichi wrote. That it was a clue for these dials. Yeah. If I remember correctly, the original message was written over. Remember. When Gonza first saw it, it just said Horse A. Kokichi added more to it. I have a feeling you could have solved that without using the hints from Himiko, but there's no way I would remember that. And I'm assuming that's why they're explaining okay. it all right now. Horse A was actually the complete clue. Oh my! Ooh, I see. So the A dial should be on the horse. Wait, so if that's the case, then that means... It wasn't Kokichi who did that, was it? Or maybe it was just Kokichi who wrote over it. Hmm. hmm. So the Chinese zodiac on dial A was horse. The other hint was hidden in the rear garden. Yeah. Remember. It said Twins B. I see. Got it. So the B dial should be on Gemini. Okay. That's it. Yes, the ast astrological zodiac on dial B was Gemini. Oh, look at Himiko. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything is all cleared up. Why? But why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. He was trying to be the mastermind. Mm. Yeah. Causing us problems even after he's dead. He's such a pain. Um. Let's see what's in the vault. If it was this difficult to get in here, there must be something important inside. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Is it okay if I bar first? Go ahead, Himiko. Do you feel nauseous whenever you're nervous? Okay. I, I see the key inside there. Giant vault. I peeked into the open vault and found... Hmm. Oh, it's not a key. It's a USB stick? I thought it was a key! That monokuma pattern must mean there's something here, but how do we check inside? Hmm, I could use that thing in this lab. In this lab. Oh, the laptop! Nice. Let's do it. Okay. It looks like this still works. If I put the USB stick in here, I should be able to check the data. I grabbed the USB from the safe and plugged it into the laptop. I found a single file. Could it be a video? Ooh. I opened the video file and Oh, it's the video that hey Rantaro there. made. I I don't have to introduce myself, huh? We finally get to watch it. Okay. We saw this a while ago. Taken by surprise, I gasped and stopped the video without thinking. Hey! What is this? Sorry. That... that was Rantaro, right? I think... He probably recorded it here before he died. No. No, that couldn't be the case. The video was clearly recorded in Rantaro's lab. Oh. If I remember but we were only able to get inside this room just now. No. Huh. So how does that work? It was supposed to open up after Gonta's case, but because Rantaro was already dead... It was locked, permanently. Thanks to Kiba, we were able to get inside. But... Knowing all of that, how could Rantaro have recorded a video in this room? Oh, is he the mastermind? 
That would be the only way to explain how he was able to access these floors, right? Because all these places were locked before. But how would he get past all the broken walls and shit? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, yes, right. Oh, wait, I completely skipped over Himiko. Sorry. Turned to the laptop once again, and with a trembling hand, I played the video. Okay. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Okay. Guess I should start from the beginning. First things first, I am you. No tricks, no actors. It's you. A reason you okay. don't remember recording this is because oh. that memory was erased. Yeah, it's it's similar to the first two games where Junko wiped out her memories. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory. To the Rantaro after you lost your memory. Huh. So, let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. Oh, special perk? Part of that perk is this video message. Monokuma said he was going to make some kind of puzzle for you. But the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already. Oh. Also, you can't share this with anyone. So was this made before the killing game started? Because Rantaro died before he can even solve this puzzle. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. There's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. At the start of the game? I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the start, yeah? What? Now, I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing game. But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. Yeah. It's never easy, huh? What is going on? Anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, you're just like all the others. You go in, they wipe your memories, and you start killing. That's the way it is. That's every Danganronpa game. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Yeah. Now, the what does that mean? Part of that rule is that. Uh oh. <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Oh, they're controlling what he's saying? Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. What? You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. The ultimate survivor? What? What does this mean? That's why you get this perk. The survivor perk. The survivor- so he survived another killing game? Would it be a previous Danganronpa game? It's not all fun and games. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. What the fuck? And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. You wanted this killing game. No matter what. What? Rantaro's video message. What the fuck? Huh? What is this? This isn't the first killing game? A killing game that he wanted? What does that mean? What's that mean? Sh Shuichi, what did all that mean? Who was Rantaro Mami? If I remember correctly. He said he survived the last killing game, and that video was part of the survivor perk. Then he was the ultimate survivor, an expert at death games. Why? Then why did he die so quickly? Remember. Remember what he said. Ooh. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. What's that mean? The one that was coming for him. Was he talking about Kaede? Was he? No. No, she didn't know Rantaro's identity. She thought he was the mastermind. Yeah. I don't think Kaede thought that far into it. Hmm. Then who's the one that knew Rantaro's true identity? Could it be a real mastermind would have known? Then, in other words, the mastermind hidden in this academy set up Rantaro to be killed. Uh, okay. I believe so. Huh. Yeah. For now. Hmm. And he said he wanted this killing game. Why would he want that? Uh, if he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. Another killing game. Why was he even participating in the first place? What was the other killing game? Because the killing game is... I don't know. There was another thing. Rantaro said his survivor perk had another part, right? 
What was that other part? You're right. He said he had it at the start of the game, but when we found his body... If I remember correctly... All he had on him was his room key and the monopad. Dude, we gotta go back to that room in the basement. In the library. And that monopad was the same student handbook we had. Hmm... Then... And it might still be left in his dorm room. Oh, that's a good okay. place to check. Yes, it could be. Never imagined Rantaro, the first victim, would come up again like this. It's all coming together. Uh-oh. Another flashback. It's happening. A flashback. Here we go. Oh, this shit is so bright, man. Oh, you're gonna blind me with that flashback light. Can we have a dark mode light? What the fuck is Yo, this? Oh, Shuichi! I heard you're finally gonna take part in the Gopher Project. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? Why do we have a sick student around here? You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. You know I can't do that. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go to school. Oh, why the fuck are you still here? I won't get any better if I rest anyway. Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Oh, they're infected. Yeah, I forgot. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still going to be a problem for us. So are these Shuichi's friends? Hey man, don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. This is different from like NASA launching a spaceship and launching astronauts to the moon. Now that I think about it, 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. You guys gonna do it? Uh, I kind of wish we did. <laughs> what are you but they all died. About? Congrats, Shuichi. I heard there are some hot girls there. Eh, I mean, they're all right looking. I still stand by it. I think the V3 girls look mid. I told you, don't look so sad. I don't know if I can stand it. I'd have to leave everyone behind. You have to go. I'm begging you. Well, I mean, you're kind of forced to go, right? Because of the meteorites? Huh? <laughs> yeah, these guys are dying anyways. Shuichi, you're our pride. You know that? <coughs> Yeah, you have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. These voices sound very familiar. Are they supposed to be the protagonists from the first two games? If things get too rough, then just remember all the fun times we had together. So, don't give up. You're our hope. I'm everyone's... Okay. These are really weird, man. I guess that's from the new Hope Speak Academy and his friends there. Ugh, th that memory. Why did I have to remember my friends now, of all times? Uh, um... This is Monokuma's doing. He made us remember this. But why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair. Yeah. That's right. There's no way we can give up. I promised I'd do my best for them. Yeah. So there's no way I can give up. Okay. So we're looking for the other part of Rantaro's survivor perk, right? Leave it to me. Yeah. I'll check every nook and cranny of this room. With my magic, of course. Okay. Should probably find something over here. Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. What does this all mean? What are lies? What is the truth? It's a good question. Uh, I guess we can leave this room now. Where do we go? Oh, I guess we're in Taro's room. Yeah, that is true. Uh-oh. There's no time to be standing around. We only have until dawn to investigate. Need to inspect every inch, get as many clues as I can. That's true. I should go there next. The Kibo destroys the door like last time. I should be able to get in there. Oh, Samugi. Hello there. Ah, Shuichi, I finally found you! Huh? Samugi, what's wrong? Um... Um, I was checking Kaito's research lab up on the sixth floor, but... What is this? Kibo's attack demolished the wall of the school and caused a new room to appear. Uh, a new room? Yeah. And it's a really weird room, too. Anyway, come with me. Okay. Samugi spoke with almost encouragingly, and then walked on ahead. Hmm. Weird room, huh? I can't ignore that. I suppose I have no choice. I'll go there later and head to the sixth floor right now. I'll go there later. Okay. 